I started with one little smoke shop in 93. All right. And I used to try to make all my customers incredibly happy. And one of the things that people, they asked me for a particular brand of natural cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And the guy was telling me on and on about how natural they are. They're so natural. They're, oh my God, oh my God. And I had a huge collection of rolling papers. <laughs> okay. And I, so in my mind, when the guy was going off on me about how natural this cigarette was, I thought it was going to be wrapped in this beautiful, translucent brown natural paper right. that I was envisioning, you know? And I brought it in for the guy. I sell him a pack. He gives me a cigarette back. I used to smoke back then. I pull it out, look at it, and it's just that typical bright white chalk mm-hmm. cigarette paper. Yeah, I was like, bleached, bleached, bleached to out. The point of, and I was of, like, yeah. Fuck, what the fuck is it? <laughs> what, what's natural about right. this bleach color? Like, Seriously. Right. There's so nothing I, natural nothing. about nothing. bleach color. So I, I, I learned all this because of you, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no one really understood this time. Uh, yeah, like, like somebody who's going to take their time. Yeah, and, this and, is, the way I describe it, it's a paper that I want you to find, not one that finds. Like, not one that finds you. Right. Meaning, like, I don't want it in the bodegas. I don't right. want it in the corner stores. Yeah. It's Because the people that buy this need to understand what they're buying. So I want to keep it very limited so that only the people that actually can appreciate it and understand what they're we'll using. get their hands on it. Because the wrong guy gets it and he puts on block work in this stuff. It's not going to burn right. And he's going to think my paper sucks. And it's like, no, no, it wasn't designed for that. Right. It was designed for, like, his stuff right. at the highest level. Artisanal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like, like, like boutique. It's delicious. boutique. Really yeah. boutique. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's uh, the highest yeah. level we've gone yet with cigarette paper. and It's called ethereal. So that one will be coming out early 2024. We were, I was just in Spain. Oh, I became a connoisseur that day. We smoked from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Holy crap, it you was like a crash a, course. It was like a Thursday Trial by fire. Thanksgiving dinner of weed and it was just bowls without <laughs> names on them. And Damn. We had, like, he had set up <laughs> name plates for us. It was so well organized. I oh. tripped out that you could do this in, in, in such a professional manner. Yeah. And that it's not about getting high because it was just like we were taking hits and tasting and feeling that moment of what it feels like. Yeah, and you're then, really taking it yeah, in. Yeah, and yeah. you're not just trying to get stoned, you know, you're right. trying to take you're, like wine, like yeah, a wine. Yeah, 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 it's like, let so, it hit the palate. Boom. Hey, what's up guys? This is Max Juhas from Dope SEO here with the Mita and Dispo for the MJ BizCon. Got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> now, the now we're in. Now we're in. I'm not even sure. It's like the thing starts and whatever. Um, I'm here with... Martez Davis, account executive at Dispo. All right, here we go. And these guys need absolutely zero introduction, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves. <laughs> themselves, themselves. Um, I'm fucking fanboying right now, but here you go. Sure, here I'm Josh go. from Raw Rolling Papers. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Shavo from uh, 22 Red and... Uh, System of a Down. There you oh, go. Man, you fucking rock. There you yeah, go. You. you fucking do this rock. This dude fucking rock. Yeah. Good you to be here. Thanks for having us. That guy's fucking this, this, this guy. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just, they were like, trouble's going to be. I was like, what? <laughs> like, were, I was like, yeah, I think I'll do this. I'll do this one. Um, oh, yeah. So let's, let's, just, let's just roll with this, because I know you said we got, we got a hard stop. Um, how did you guys get into cannabis? Like, You want to start, or should I start? You start. I'm right. really curious. Um, years ago. Uh, when the band started, I started smoking. Okay. And I, I, I wasn't smoking as a kid, you know? I started at like 20, you know, right. 21 years old. Um, oh, oh, sit back. My bad. <laughs> guy was calling up on us. <laughs> Anyways, so I started around 2021. 20, I just smoked casually. And um, as we started touring, I'm, I found myself in Amsterdam and I met Arian Strain Hunter uh, by chance. Right. And he invited me to the, the harvest tasting of that year, which was, I think, 2000. And that's when I got my first menu and I got to, like, because in LA, you know, you, you go yeah, to the corner yeah, yeah, of Hoover yeah, 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 and Pico and buy weed, you know, yeah. back this then. what you got. Yeah. You got what you got. But, but this place had menus and hash and everything, I, you know. So during the harvest tasting, I got to taste all the wonderful strains he cultivated and actually hunted. And so I became a connoisseur that day. We smoked from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Holy crap. It you was like a crash course. A, it was like a Thursday Trial by fire. Thanksgiving dinner of weed, and it was just bowls without <laughs> names on them. And Damn. We had, like, he had set up little name plates for us. It was so well organized, and I oh. tripped out that you could do this in, in, in such a professional manner. Yeah. And that it's not about getting high, because it was just like we were taking hits and tasting and feeling that moment of what it feels like. Yeah, and you're then, really taking it Yeah, in. and yeah. you're not just trying to get stoned, you know, you're right. trying to take, you're, like wine, like yeah, a wine. Yeah, 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 it's like let so, it hit the palate. And, and, so and, that, yeah, it became a thing. Yeah. And I just came home and I was bland at that point. I was like, mm. oh, we have one type or two types. And anyways, years passed and I became legal. And I still didn't want to join the business because I, I'm a connoisseur, right? right? I don't want to have right. mixed business and pleasure at that moment, you know? But 
I've, I've met, met some people that actually grew really well, and I knew I could put my name on something. I'm, I'm not a grower personally, but I'm a great curator yep. of things. So, you can taste um, it really well. And I have a taste, you know? Yeah. I have a certain taste, and so I decided to go with my taste and start a company. It's a lifestyle brand, 22 Red. Started five years ago. Uh, we dropped in three dispensaries. So now we're in three states. Yep. Five years later, That's slow what's up. and steady grow. No crazy investment monies. Just kind of doing my thing. I meet people like Josh, amazing people like you guys. And, Appreciate it. You know, whoever supports me supports me. Whoever doesn't doesn't. Appreciate it is what it is. I'm yeah, not, absolutely. You know, I'm in it for the long run, not yep. for the quick. Yep. Yeah. Meal, you know. No, I, I, I love the way you do it, man. You know, like you do it. You do it from the heart. You do it for real. Thank you, brother. You're not and doing that trying to. I'm gonna cash out. No, you know, you're no, very clear. That you actually love out. what you do. Yeah. yeah no, I enjoy ready. it. Yeah. I enjoy the genetics part of it because of, I think that experience. It was kind of like a, positive trauma. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it sank in, and it stayed with me. Um, where I really love the creation of genetics, which leads to me being here this week. Uh, we've been hunting for about a year and a half with our team in Las Vegas. Okay. And we have nine new proprietary strains. What? Yeah, so uh, we grew the first three. It, it's like the third run, of course. We're, we're testing them. Yeah. And I feel like it's at a level where we could now be in stores. So we picked, we handpicked six different stores to be in to test run these new strains. I can't wait for you guys to taste them. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you yeah. doing small batches then? Or small batches. Only, nice. I, I realize small batches is the way to go to right. do what I'm doing, what I want to do. Not, I'm right. not trying right, to, right, you yeah, know, yeah, all, yeah. art yeah. grows small, boutique where you can control. It's, it's a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. I think those buds become more nurtured and you feel it in the high and the taste and the yeah. nose, yeah. It, it's, it's the love and the energy put into it. Yes. You know what I mean? And, yes. and you feel that coming out of it, you know, versus like, let's just grow to grow to grow to grow. We're not yeah. doing that. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no. And then I meet amazing people like Josh, yeah. who, who I met as being in the game, but then we had some shows and uh, I was in his hometown. And uh, we invited him over, and he came, and we had such an amazing time. And yeah, we had so much fun. That's it was automatic we're... friendship. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful when the energy yeah. works like that, too. Because they feel like you guys have known each other for forever. Just well, it feels that way, way too. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's been about four years, right? Five yeah, years? Yeah, four or five like, years, yeah. right? When you first started your company, you were yeah. just launching. It was just perfect launching, time to meet. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what's up. And so, Josh, please, for, those, for, those, for everybody else that doesn't know, tell us about Raw. Like, how did, how did, what's, this, what's the story behind Raw? It's a long story. Okay. But I started with one little smoke shop in 93. All right. And I used to try to make all my customers incredibly happy. And one of the things that people, they asked me for a particular brand of natural cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And the guy was telling me on and on about how natural they are. They're so natural. They're, oh my God, oh my God. And I had a huge collection <laughs> of rolling papers. Okay. And I, I, so in my mind, when the guy was going off on me about how natural this cigarette was, I thought it was going to be wrapped in this beautiful translucent brown natural paper right. that I was envisioning, you know? And I brought it in for the guy. I sell him a pack, he gives me a cigarette back, I used to smoke back then. I pull it out, look at it, and it's just that typical bright white chalk mm, cigarette mm, paper. Yeah, I was like, bleached, bleached, bleached to out, the point of, and I was like, yeah. fuck, what the fuck is it? <laughs> what's, and, what's natural about right. this bleach color? Seriously. Like, there's so nothing I, natural nothing. about bleach color. So I, I learned all this because of you, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody really ahead. understood this stuff. Yeah. Nobody even knew that there was chalk and rolling papers until right. I started teaching them. Maybe some people did, but not enough people. And then I started teaching them about the different things they might not have known. Okay. And I just want them to learn everything they can about rolling papers because I love rolling papers, man. So sharing knowledge for me is a pleasure. It's a joy. It's an honor because I've, I get to, the more people I teach it to, more people I'm kind of bringing into my own little world, Educating, my own little life. Yeah. Before nobody cared. Right. And now suddenly so many people care. It's amazing. Yeah. And I love it. It's great. So yeah, Raw was, is just a product of my heart. It's something I realized had never been made before, and I wanted to make it. Dude, that's beautiful. Yeah, and there's, it's so difficult to innovate something like a paper. Oh, yeah. It, it really is. Yeah. So when I realized that no one had done that before, that was in 93 was when I had the idea to make it. It wasn't until 2005 that I was able to really fully launch it. And in the end, it's still just me and the family. We don't have, like, big investors or any of that kind that's of stuff great. either. That's, that's, even, that's even more beautiful. That's what makes it authentic. Yeah, And I absolutely. could see and feel the authentic vibes from him and in his work and how he experiments. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah, you know that's he experiments experiment. with things, bro. And that's, like, most people don't do that. They buy something that it's already good enough. exists yeah. Yeah. and yeah. slap their name on it. Exactly. Yeah. Dude yeah. invents what oh, yeah. in, makes it exist. And, you know... People yeah. copy that. No, and if you think about it, I mean, paper's been around since men, since humankind started, you know, 
Oh, I can tell you the whole history of paper. I'm sure you're here for the rest of the show. I know it all. I'm not yeah, all most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we could do that, but you don't want to do that. No, no, no. I mean, well, that's that's for another, like, let's go. I need that lesson. Yeah, I can do it, man. I love it. I feel like you need an educational platform. Yeah, he's great. In, like, a learning school or something like that. You have a YouTube channel, right? I do. I've got YouTube, and I tell some of the long videos on YouTube sometimes. I need to get in there, yeah. It's just, it's time for me to do it again in a funner way. Because I look back at some of my old videos from, like, 2010, and I was like, oh my god, take this down, please. Yeah, I'm yeah. so embarrassed. Like, please, delete this now. Please, please. <laughs> Just, no. But, okay. Here's the cool thing about rolling paper, and it's not so different than, than other things. Rolling paper, or cigarette papers overall, are the only kind that are truly designed, that I know of, to release energy. Mm. You burn it, it releases its energy, it releases its energy into his material, and then that material releases its energy into you. See, so the two of us are working together to, to get you higher. There right? it is. Right. And so he's, he's so you got to look at it like that. So when you're designing the paper, when you're working with it, when you're watermarking, when you're gumming it, every little aspect of it, you have to keep in mind what it's really going to do. So you can thin out the paper, but if you thin it too much, then I don't have enough energy to burn his weed. Right. But mm. I, can, I can pair it. I can scale it down. I can decrease the porosity, which is how much air passes through the paper, or mm-hmm. I can increase it. More air through the paper is going to make it burn a little longer, yeah. but you're going um, yeah. to waste some smoke, too. Right. If uh, I decrease the porosity, it's going to burn slower, it's mm-hmm. going to go out more, but it's going to conserve your stuff. So you have so many little things you can tinker with and mess with yeah. to try to make it where wow. you pair for his weed the best you possibly can. It's and obvious you've never doing. tested Talk this about at all. Someone no, 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 no. Talk about that. someone <laughs> mastering yeah, you know, no, that's, it. Yeah, you, he's you, put you his 10,000 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 I was going to say 100,000 hours. 100,000, yeah. Robert Green, we got to give him the shout out. Yes, sir. Yeah, Yeah. He's a good do you think guy. you'd be doing like YouTube videos again or would you have like a different way? No, I'll, like I'll do it again. Like I just want to do them in a, in a more fun way. Mm. I gotcha. The, the one I did from 2010, you could tell I was in pain. So I wasn't used <laughs> to talking on the yeah, screen. You know? it's, weird. it's weird doing YouTube videos because you're like, I'm just talking. And you know, there's yeah. no feedback and there's no way to Nobody. really edit. Or you're like, you know, it's not like a I setup like this where you it. have this no. thing. Yeah, like I still weird. feel weird with it. I, yeah. Just mm-hmm. talking to no one is kind of weird. <laughs> That's why I always like having someone there. If I'm ever going to do it, I have either someone sitting next to me right. or someone in front uh, of yeah, me. To bounce yeah. off of, keep yeah. the energy going. Because otherwise, yeah, yeah. I'm just rambling. Right. And we're just and I don't know where to look. I'm yeah. starting, you know, I'm starting yeah. looking around. Not yeah. the camera, right? You know. Yeah, so. I, I, I like bullet points. Bullet point one. Bullet point two. Bullet yeah. But even then, it's like, now this feels too just like academic, you know, and like less like free flowing. Um. I know Eric gave us a hard stop. So, like, God, I want to keep this going for like four hours, but I know you guys have like so much it's to all do good. and everything it's all else. Good. Um, so, what's what's the future? What's going on? Like, I know I know you're you're coming out, you're you're branching out into Vegas. Is anything else going on? What's the future of Raw? Like, like we're 2024 is right around you the corner. Okay, I'm really curious. You go first. Sure, I, I wish I had one with me, but um, in early 2024, we're launching a new Raw. An even thinner one, which oh, the market wow. was not ready for until now. Okay. And it's even thinner, so it's going to burn even slower. And it's harder to roll with. So okay. So this is really only for, like, Professional. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like somebody who's going to take their time. Yeah, and, this and, is, and, mm. the way I describe it, it's a paper that I want you to find, not one that find like, not one that finds you. Right. Meaning, like, I don't want it in the bodegas. I don't right. want it in the corner stores. Yeah. It's Because the people that buy this need to understand what they're buying. So I want to keep it very limited so that only the people that actually can appreciate it and understand what they're we'll using. get their hands on it. Because the wrong guy gets it and he puts on block work in this stuff. It's not going to burn right and he's going to think my paper sucks. And it's like, no, no, it wasn't designed for that. Right. It was designed for like his stuff right. at the highest level. Artisanal, mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Like, like, like boutique. It's delicious. boutique. Really yeah. boutique. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's uh, the highest yeah. level we've gone yet with cigarette paper. and It's called ethereal. So that one will be coming out early 2024. We were, I was just in Spain. We were finishing it off. It's ready. Yeah, that's so dope. Early 2024. And then I've got something else coming, which I shouldn't talk about, which is an incredible lighter. The first one I've ever seen that's really made for us. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Is it butane or is it the kerosene thing? No, it's, it's you know, kerosene smells. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. That's what I was going to ask. But that's also, there's, no, there's not that typical flint, so you don't get those little sparks going oh, all into your stuff. I can't wait you. to hear more yeah, about it. Yeah, it's really, I'm, tr- like, I'm trying to do the same thing with lighters that we did with papers where you bring it to a level it hasn't been brought to before. Okay. Yeah, because no one's ever done it. I follow his lead. All right, fair enough. 
wonderful. Is it going to be just like rolling papers or are it going to be cones as well? Uh, at first, it's just a paper. Okay. I can make cones out of it, but it's so soft that it's going to get damaged okay. on the way to you. Gotcha. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're gonna, we can do it. I'll have to like wrap, roll a, like a sheet of paper and tuck it down into there in order to get it where it gets to you without getting crushed. It just, it'll take more time. So it can be done. It's just more difficult. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. I'll cool. find a way. It took us yeah. a long time to make the raw black cones because, again, mm -hmm. we, we were getting crushed. And finally, we figured out a really simple solution. The straws were crushing them from the weight of the straw, so we mm -hmm. went to a thinner straw. Oh, it, it, sometimes it's the simplest solution where you realize, right. oh, right. that'll work. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> trial and error, trial and error. <laughs> but this time it's really it's a soft paper, so I don't want to get it hurt. Yeah, I get that. I get that for sure. Okay, he's got to go. We got to go. All right. Was that your? Was that your? No, I, I just took a picture of us. Oh, oh yeah. did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you a quick shot story. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. When I meet this guy, we, you know, he goes up on stage and he starts playing and he sets me up where I am in between the crowd and him. They're, I'm in this space, what? this dead space, yeah. seriously. So the whole crowd's behind me, and he's in front of me, and I'm down there like, holy oh, shit. shit! And he's up on the fucking, he's on the speaker. He is fucking just jamming right at me. He is going I right focused on him more than the crowd that Right day. there, dude. I'm there taking <laughs> all, I guarantee like, you the waves that you were throwing at it him. Was dude, was just it was I am still else. living off that <laughs> energy, I man. I like, was like, oh my God, this is incredible. It was dope. Dude, the it videos was awesome. he had were it pretty cool awesome. from there. The, like, the videos he caught, you know, were pretty cool. Oh, I, I love the ones you had. Better than any drug. Man. I believe it. It yeah. was oh. incredible. I it. It's, it was you're incredible. You're still feeling the effects. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. That was, I it. say being on stage is better than any Whew. drug that's I've ever done. Yes. Yeah. Or anything I've ever done. But that was a peak moment. Yeah, yeah. Have him giving you all of that energy. Yeah. All yeah. of it. At you. With the crowd behind you, man. So we'll segue into system. Okay. We have... We're doing our Festival Sick New World here in Vegas. Nice. Uh, April 27th, 2024. Nice. Uh, I think it's already sold out, but of course we can oh, work, yeah, work yeah. something out. Uh, <laughs> Meet the tickets. Meet the tickets. Like, um, Just for tickets. Local like, app thing, right? About a year and a half ago, I started uh, writing and recording a new record. Uh, I put a new band together. Uh, it's kind of like a solo record, but it's not because I let everyone give in their... Because I'm a collaborator. Okay. I'm not just this guy that wants to do everything my way kind More, of guy. Okay. But I did write all the music, and I had them do their things on it, the members, and I handpicked each member, uh, curated the whole thing, and uh, we're in... We have 16 songs. We're in the mix mode. We're, we're mixing all the songs at the moment. I will be ready soon. You'll hear about it. We're thinking about calling it Shav, S-H-A-V, right. instead of Shavo, because okay. I like... You know, it's one a band name instead of my name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of cool. It doesn't mean anything in any other, you know, <laughs> shop. It's, like, it's kind of like, a, what, what, like those names that don't exist, but it's right. it's, mm -hmm. it's a word that don't yeah. exist. Um, 22 Red, three states, uh, relaunching in Vegas in three weeks. Nice. Um, Arizona, we're killing it, and you guys help us with that a lot. Mita yep. yeah. has been really supportive of 22 Red all through Arizona. Right on. We're at all their events. Uh, I actually went and met you guys once. Um, it was a Thursday night you guys had at some hotel, and it was wonderful. Yep. Awesome. I felt really, we'll come through again. really yeah, at home. We're yeah. going to keep it going. I yeah. Think. yeah, I felt really at home there, and I you know, I said I'm going to support them whatever I can do anytime oh, I can. Yeah. I'm going I'm to do it because, you know. It's a beautiful thing. That's what it works. Yeah, yeah I actually so. work with you guys in Arizona, too. This you do. Does your guys package Amazing. Yeah. That's That's awesome. Good people yeah. around us all the time. So, yeah. man, I thank you guys. And now we have new products coming out in Arizona. We have uh, concentrate rolls, rolls dipped in concentrates, <laughs> wet, which we had to really do a deep dive into. Yeah. Uh, we tried every possible way of doing it, doing the roll, doing the flakes, doing the, you know, the keef, doing the inside. And we're sticking with just ice wash hash, Woo! nothing else, no distillate, nice. no okay. uh, resin, actually live rosin. Yeah. Nice. And we're doing all of our stuff that way, and we have some pens coming out soon, which we kind of haven't since we stopped doing distillate, and I don't, I don't like distillate. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to do the purest form of the plant and give it to you the nice. right way. What I would do, made I want to give love. to you. Yeah. Made, made with love. Made with, made with love. So you know, like that'll start in Arizona, bleed into Nevada, and California soon with a relaunch with our own proprietary strains coming soon. Fantastic. Yeah, hell yeah. Awesome. Thank you for having us, fellas. Yo, yeah, thank you guys yeah. so much for, for yeah. coming on this. Yeah. Yeah. This, was a, this was a, a massive pleasure. treat. Right on, man. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, my man. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> got to check what you heard. You heard it here. Meet him and shout There he is. There he is. We're fucking right. That was all fun. You missed let me do another one okay, for us here. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to throw you in.